Ah, where am I? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yes. Hello. Hello, and how are you? Uh, welcome to Chris. I have the Storm Taylor plays Witcher 3. So this has been a week of The Witcher 3. Um, where it started on Monday with the... Um, with the introduction, the tutorial, uh, lots of really, really cool um, graphics, an absolutely fantastic story-driven game. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can actually get to uh, finish <laughs> the first mission. Um, uh, I, I know at the end of the last video, I promised that um, I would spend today sorting out a couple of things with the inventory, doing a little bit of crafting and stuff just to try and not interrupt the game. But um, life doesn't always let you do that. So yeah, haven't had a chance. So I'm going to try and make that as quick as possible. So jump, so I can jump straight back into the action. Um, and at least get to the point where I can start exploring the map, having a look at the other bits and pieces going on, uh, do a little, few little side quests before I do that end point of uh, killing the griffin, <clears throat> which appeared at the very, very start of the game. Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get into that, get that sorted. And uh, not fall asleep in my chair. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do follow me. There you go. Twitter at Chris the Brit. Um, also, down there, like, share, subscribe. Um, and... As things have gone, if I get... Look, I'm going to be very honest. I've got a few things planned for if I get more viewers. I'd like to reach... You know... I, <laughs> I'd like to reach 25 live viewers at some point this year. It, it's, you know, I'm not putting a big goal on it. You know, it's like, oh, I want a thousand viewers. No, it, it look, I very much appreciate everyone who's watching... Uh, everyone is watching this on a replay. If you, um, I will be doing stuff once I get more viewers. I've got a few things planned, and and a few, yeah, well, maybe a giveaway or two. Um, a few things going on because I'm very much a supporter of the Black Lives Mo uh, Black Lives Matter movement, um, and I've been supporting them through. Uh, various channels supporting um, the Humble Bundle, uh, Black Lives Matter bundle that they did, which I already have a few of the titles in there, so I, you know, might be giving away those, um, and a few other things as well. So um, stay tuned, tune in, um, and also something I'd like to do as well is I'm going to be very honest. I, I'm I'm going to look at a payment option, something to um, ask people to donate to, to a very good cause, um, which is the hospital that looked after our son, Shonok, um, for uh, the year before he passed. So um, I'll be, I'm, look, I'm starting to look into those. Um, and sort of you know, try and raise money for the department um, so that other sick children with similar uh, genetic diseases and other similar problems um, they can get more help uh, but this is all up in the air this is all things that I'd like to do in the future so just in the meantime um, thank you all for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Um, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tune in. Tune in. 
and I'll try to be more entertaining. <laughs> I promise. Uh, but in the meantime, let me let me just check. Let me just check something. I'll try to be. More... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just checking that the mic is actually working. Um, so here, here we go. Let's start. Let's get The Witcher Three Wild Hunt Game of the Year edition. It says so. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Yeah, there we go. Get that started. Make sure this works. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. I had enough of this. Sorry. Give me a second. My controller is. It's not being recognized, so I just need to. I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional. Um, right. You're going to work this time. You are so going to work. Uh, let's have another quick go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Has the button there. So. Uh, continue. Bard's tale begins near White Orchard. With my dear ah, friend Gellert yeah. of Rivia seeking his lover of yore. The sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. There we go. That's better. Hello. Hello. Right. <clears throat> so I need to find I need to find some buckthorn. So let's go. Let's go get some buckthorn. house so I am definitely not going to be going around stealing from an old lady because no uh, oh, what's in here I'll take that that's just been left around you know right uh, come on <laughs> come on Gerald which one's down there you go, that's... Hold X to dive, or B to swim towards the surface. There we go, dive in. Keep an eye on how much breath you have. Yeah! That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna keep grabbing some book thought while I'm down here. All those things, you know. As they say in Ireland, make hay while the sun shines. Do be do. And surface. Get some. Oh, good. Should talk to Vesemir. Right. Anything else? Get my book thorn. Is that a chest? That's a chest. Oh, I'm definitely taking all those. Do do do. Formula. Okay. Anything else out here? Nope. Let's, let's go get. Oh, uh, yeah. 
breath, breathing. Breathing is good. Smoother than James Bond. Come on, Roach. Yeah, there's probably who've been playing this for a while who are probably screaming at their screens as they watch this going, Why aren't you taking stuff? You know, there's all sorts of stuff in all the houses. Run, but Roach. Yeah. There probably is. But you know. Lane dead at the game. F Avon the good Not so fast, Roach. That's it, Roach. Come on now. It's Durban now. D E R B A F. Not Goidemar. Freak. Good man. Whose field is that? The other side of the river. By the wood. Or in clinics. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes, this boy. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Let's have a talk to Vesemir. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Been busy with the Griffin contract. And? Got the Buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. Right. Later, Vesemir. Yeah. Right. So, good to see Vesemir. And I'm going to go talk to. Oh, hang on, what am I going to do? I'm going to talk to the merchant. I'm going to get your inventory first. Let's see what we got. Which is still sword. Hunting boots. Oh, yeah, I'm going to equip them boots. Nothing there. And some timber, some nails, phosphorus. Okay, got some alchemy stuff. Hard oh, leather. Cool. So. Well, blackjack, rusty sword, rusty sword, not worth much. So yeah, I can sell those. Yeah, sell those as well. Oh, that's got a thing. Oh, right, I need to go and sort those out. I've got... Let's see, what have you got? Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Temerian armor. Temerian boots. Egg trousers. Yeah, don't have enough. Right. I. I'm gonna buy that. Not enough coin. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, fine. Um, actually. Okay. Two. That's worth. Right. Uh, back. Take care. 
So, what are we doing here? Can't do the crafting until... Ah! Yeah, you stay there, Roach. First of all, shove the weapons. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Crafting. Like you afford something for me. Uh, do, do, do. Crafting components. Oh dear, no, that's right. Yeah. How do I? Oh yes, repair. That's fine. That needs. Oh. Stuff. Yeah. Do that for now. 93, 72, they're fine. So, crafting, shop, dismantle. There we go, that's what I wanted. This panel is just dismantle. Unwanted items recover some of the components they're made of. Yay! Items are shown here. This shows which components will be recovered after dismantling the item. How much will it cost? Ah! Bandits don't press that. If this item is fitted with any upgrades, they'll be recovered. So, yeah, and then leather scraps down in it. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Right. Crafting. Uh, oh, right, so that's an upgrade thing. Cool. Stealing it, okay. Yeah, there was something else, wasn't there? So long. There was inventory. Oh, great. Buckthorn. His letter, brother missing, held by the well. Burned papers. Did I get some recipes? The Imperial Majesty, I read that. Burnt papers, contract, contract. <coughs> Crafting. 
Right, okay. Hmm. Oh, yes, right. Quests. Not looking good as praise. Peace. Talk to Vesmir. Right, secondaries. Which contracts? Devil by the well. Uh, so that's recommended level two, just at level three. Uh, Witcher contract always. Hey. Right. Hey, Roach. Come on, Roach. Yeah. Right here. Let's go. Any interesting herbs? Oh, Myrtle petal. Crow's eye. Crow's eye. Ridley. Crow's eye. All this stuff that I'm not stealing. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher, felt dreadfully ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink, and not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away, and it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well... It's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. To haggle, choose the milk, fairy trust, press an eight. A deal. Or break off negotiations. Right. Uh, base rate. Oh, you know something? Nah. That settles it then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Whew. Devil by the well. Ooh, I don't know. I think I knew that before. You're right there, Roach. Ghost. Hey. 
Infamous well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. around the well scorched. All signs point to a noon wraith. Noon wraith. Noon wraith won't stray too far from the well. of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. <clears throat> Passing armies had trampled their spring planting, a griffin had begun to attack them, abducting their livestock, and the rotten icing of this painful cake, a rune wraith haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. The witcher could sense something bound her to this place. In order to send her off into the eternal ethereal realms, he'd first need to learn her secret. Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle, and a noon wraith is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by blinding him and creating mirror images of herself. These copies slowly suck the victim's life energy while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Eerdan sign would also be needed to trap her and force her to take on material form. Okay, that would be straight. Noon race. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labours at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon race. Vlad Raymond, peasants and their customs. On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, wraiths will at times appear, resembling sun scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon wraiths, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the field searching for their own unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. So hang on. Da -da -da. Moon dust or spectre oil. Uh, alchemy. Oh, spectre oil. What do I need? Bear fat. Arenaria. Right. Right. Gonna need some spectre oil. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world.
there first. There we go. Okay. Looting, 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 looting. with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way, someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood, small hands. Woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Black magic doll. Okay. Yellow diary. Journal. Might be useful. It's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vizima. This is all the harm he's done to us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with never thought to repayment. Now we barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we've finally got what we begged. Melitel for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognised our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. The first day of our freedom. Hovens not, Hovel's not much of a village yet. But to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazel wood smoke to drive out evil. Buried a Martin under the gate to make sure no thieves crossed our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Loveliest I've ever seen. Mother says said it's foolish to spend so much time in a bubble when we haven't ploughs or hoes. And that we ought to return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker and how happy we were that day. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calm since his son died, and he's not as quick to anger about small sights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move one inch from here. hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living, and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead, or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living of their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual, while she, he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the world in the first place. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place.
plague maidens. Oh, right, okay. History. Night wraiths. Night wraiths exude. Sorry. Night wraiths exude this immense sadness. This helpless wrath. I fear them, same as anyone. But most of all, I feel sorry for them. Aileen Outspar, Elvin Trebaritz. Yeah. Compared to other creatures of the night, catacans, necorats, and werewolves, for example, night wraiths, and their rarer cousins, dusk wraiths, might not seem all that dangerous. After all, one might ask, how much calm could a pale withered woman in a tattered dress do? The answer, quite a bit. Instead of finding this out the hard way, avoid crossing fields with meadows at night at all costs. Like noon wraiths, night wraiths are only found in rural areas. Travellers fall victim to them most often. But if legends are to believe, they also sneak into huts at times and murder peasants in their sleep. When they attack, night wraiths remain immaterial f for most of the time, meaning physical blows pass right through them. They only take a more tangible form for the brief moments in which they strike. When weakened, they will create several projections of, the, of themselves which cannot attack directly but act as transmitters of sorts, through which the Night Wraith can sap their, her victim's vital energy. Night Wraiths can turn immaterial and are, at such times, very difficult to wound. In order to force one to take on corporeal form, trap it with the Eerdon sign or hit it with a blast of a moon dust bomb. Do not believe the old wife tales and think yourself completely safe from night wraiths during the day. They appear under the light of the sun as well, but are much weaker then than after dusk. Plague Maidens. Patients seem to have hallucinations of a woman covered in scabs and boils, with rats scurrying about all around her. These ravings subsided after administration of henbane and poppy extract. Joachim von Gratz's notes, Vilmeria's Hospital in Novigrad. When plague ravages a region, a spirit will sometimes walk its lands. A ghost resembling an ill woman whose flesh rots off her bones, and in those wake crawls a cavalcade of rats. No one knows whether the spirit brings the pox with her or is merely drawn to it like a moth to a light. Yet it is certain that she delights in dealing pain and suffering, in hearing the howling and moaning of men. Many have called into question the very existence of plague maidens, or peste as they are sometimes called. Only two sightings of such a creature have ever been recorded, both during times of raging epidemic. As the name plague maiden suggests, these wraiths take the appearance of females, though exactly why that is remains a mystery. Some speculate they, like other such spectres, arise from the powerful emotional charge associated with certain circumstances of death, such as death preceded by a long and particularly painful illness. Not much is known about how to fight a plague maiden, though one can assume they possess many traits in common with other phantoms and wraiths. They undoubtedly pose a threat, pose a great danger, though a witch's immunity should at the very least prevent him from catching the contagious illnesses that they carry. Ooh. Hang on. Night Wraith. Noon Wraith decoction. Dwarven Spirit, Noon Wraith Mutagen, Genetia Petals, Ergo Seeds, don't have any of those. Dwarven Spirit, yeah, Mistletoe, Soot Mushrooms, cool. Yeah. Spectre Oil, got the bear fat, Arenaria. Hmm. 
fantastic. teeth. Left arm's missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Break my legs. Okay, that looks like the way out. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Thank you. 
Which way did I just come from? some potions. Definitely not abandoned. Need some crafting and stuff. Yeah. And any more? What's that? Okay. Rooms. Oh, another hut. Oh, right, village. Right, oils and potions before I go back there. So, 
Gotta go look for some. That, but also. First one, Snickerface. Cat. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna put this quest on hold then. Because, um. I need more stuff, so. Find. Right. Hey there. Come on. Where I came about the water. Hey, slow now. Whoa. Slow now. And in sight. of loot. Nice. Some monsters down there. that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But, I guess he's mine now. See, hey, Bastion fought the black ones Thank in a battle, just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses and corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afraid of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me, keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion, and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Yeah. I would have thought. 
but I want to find his body at least, so Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Roach. Hang on. A nest. This looks familiar. Bastion, his body must be here somewhere. Among countless others, want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield, especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Objectives are sometimes directed to a general area when the exact position of your target is unknown. Go to the marked area. Just started. Hang on, I've got loads of stuff now. I have armor. My armor, cavalry trousers. Oh, yes, I have them cavalry trousers. Gauntlets, nice. Inventory, yes. Couldn't afford the saddlebags, right.
find tracks or the clues. Walk close, then press A to examine them. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire pick that. He found him! The SARS caught he's sent! Come on! What? Nice. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first... Want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No! He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man, leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blackened stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our Pa's clothes, teach him to work the field. But that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. idea what that just said. Um, however, I am going back to this battlefield. somewhere around here. Eh? 
Also. Yeah, that. I'll go see what that is. So, north, so this way. nests. Okay, inventory. Sorry. Quit that. Okay, three of them. Once nesting a grape shot, summon or dancing star bomb, face the nest and press A. of power. sorts of stuff. Now, down here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take out that nest as well. And then go find out what that is. Right. Come on, Roach. Gideon. 
Come on now. Where's the chicken leg, please? And have some more roast the chicken leg, please. That in nicely. Wolf Spain. Just destroy it. All potion bombs are consumed upon use and can burn out. To replenish your stocks of these items, it's the meditation panel. If you, had, if you have hard alcohol in your inventory, it will be used to create a new batch of every alchemy item you have. Cool. Fantastic. Monster heart. Oof. Question mark. <clears throat> right by where these monsters were. Guarded treasure. There we go. Brown 
his brain. That's the bone. Brown a brain. Monster ear. Ooh, better eat some stuff. Whew. Emerson resin. Hunter's boots. Catacan decoction. Orange powdered pearl. Rune stones. Flip bolt. Tawny owl. Treasure, my lads. Treasure. Another little bit of dumpling. Oh, yeah. Take another. Yeah. Screenshot testing. Back at it again. Yeah, yes, I am. we got on the map. Uh, oh, there that up there. Over there. Abandoned mine. Abandoned village. Broken bridge. Yeah. Quests. By the well. Okay. So all these are quests. Directive number A two eighty IX. Burying the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. General Merwin Rosen, Viceroy of the Province of Temeria. Oh, sorry, wrong exit. Hey there. Get up. Slower. Look, there's parsley. I need herbs. Rose on. Sure, just on notice. There we go. Right, yeah, just got that one. Thank you. Okay, that house is people. Closed. Yeah, no. Okay, food. Yeah, got loads of those. Right, where are we heading now? Oh, I can head up there. That's fairly close. Hang on, 
that's Wolf Village. Okay, saw it. Ah, no. Not so fast, Roach. Uh oh, bandits again. Nothing else around. What else we got? There's a bear dog. Discovered location. Uh, fast travel. Get a fast travel. We must find a fast travel signpost. Is that one there? Should do. Whoa, I do not want to fall down there. There we go. Yeah. Ah, I've got a stash. Keep forgetting I've got a stash.
Okay. First of all, hang on. So armor we've got. Gamberson, no. Hunting boots, hunting trousers, hunting gauntlets. Florence Gold Ruby Ring Skulls and stuff. Right. That that Oh, it's a magic item. What? I'm wear it. No, can't wear it. Use the wish of weapons, armor, and junk in your stash for safekeeping. Confident they will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. Right. Which is steel sword? Excuse me. Hunting boots, hunting trousers, hunting gauntlets. I've got some stuff I can sell. Whee! Loads of stuff for crafting. Fantastic. Loads of bits of alchemy. Yay. Uh, in fact, a stash. Uh, Thankfully, books don't weigh anything, which is cool. Lord of Ingredients. Fantastic. Right. I can see my merchant friend. Go on, M. Kazel. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. So we got. Right. He's only got 160. Oof. What? Thirty? Thirty? That's worth two hundred! Oh. So I'll find someone else with the cash. <sighs> Disappointed in that. Right, that's your dwarven friend. You got any cash? A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. Yeah, 
get your bite armor off me. Some thirty three. Uh, excuse me a second. So long. Yeah. Ventry. Crafting. Nope. Weapons. Hey, uh, here we go. Right, what we're going to put in. Two percent chance of stun, absolutely. Right. Ah, what I should do now meditation. Swallow. That can go there. Nice. Yeah, right. Back to the notice board. Ooh, more board, more stuff. Uh, got stronger by the day, yeah. But 
plow. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Right. Taking all them. So, see if I can replenish. Where do I want to go? Herbalist. Oh, might as well go to the sawmill. something not so fast roach herbalist ah no it's not herbalist move it So fast, yes. How's your friend doing? Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Common stuff, I've got no problem selling. Dog tallow. Mm. Spirit, Griffin decoction. Okay. Farewell. Right. And is it just over here? I has a horse. Yeah, let's go find what's good. Sawmill. Let's go. Come on.
reclaimed. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Okay. Farewell. West. Come on, Roach. Another less, isn't it? That's no, not a bad idea. Sandwich. I'll have that chicken sandwich, thank you. What the hell?
dessert again. That's it, that was the treasure. Oh. Not much treasure, it wasn't very guarded either. Right, what else we got? Garrison. Bloody hell. Alright. Go for this sawmill. Well, that's going to be related to that. Uh, just go east. Hey, uh. yeah, just play that. Place it now. Uh oh. Right. Not good. A mutagen, use it to enhance your abilities or create a special potion called a mutagen decoction. You. I'll draw that. Gain an ability point. And. Axie. Axie is more powerful. Right, so. Character. Mutagens, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, no. I don't want to put that in there. for the minute. Go to the east. That's it, Roach. Come on. There's something about this bridge. Oh, hello. To Mary and Lily Key. I have a feeling. To be concerned by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they find a Redanian division awaiting for them. Noble-born Tamirians, they are in special protection, not a hair in their heads to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property, and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heal, heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. Yeah, let's track that. That's it, Roach. <laughs> There's a bridge there, Roach. Take 
Take it easy. Slower. What's this? No, not going near that. Not going near that. Not yet. That's it, Roach. That's a graveyard. Okay, this totally looks abandoned, right? And yes, it is totally abandoned. Excellent. Achievement unlocked. Learn 12 potion formulae. Nice. A scribbled document. Plans of Guardian Longsword. Scribbled document. Hemi. No wonder we're losing this war with countly cunts for soldiers. All it took were a few arrows and wallop of the mace for seasoning, and that was that. Battle was over, and the whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they're having such a hard time of it because of all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time, with obvious results. When you're seen double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gathered to the cubby, then fence it quick as you can. Except that showy parade shite. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone might recognise the insignia, then there'd be trouble. Wow. Okay. 
Anything else? Feel good, we're done. Treasure. How's my inventory doing? Thirty-three sixty. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew what I wanted to do. Roach. There we go. Hey, better stamina. Cool. Rusty sword, rusty sword, hatchet. Oh god, your long sword. Yeah. Nice. Cavalry boots. Yeah, take that. Hunting trousers, already got better. Hunting gauntlets. Nice. Got some coin as well, so actually afford repairs. Where to next? This is pretty cool. So fast, Roach. Let's go. Hidden treasure. comes to these bloody things, you know. <sighs> hunting trousers, hunting trousers, hunting trousers. Things are going better and better for us. We've pitched camp in the heart of the forest near the old mill. We've already done quite nice for ourselves. Folk are poor, so they say, but squeezing and something always pops out. A sack of grain here, a few crowns there. Not bad for easy work, certainly better than the army. At least we've got something to fill our bellies and the rest that we'll pay for all this with our lives. Well, it's still less than when we were charging the nilfs at Natalissa's orders. Funds. Uh, 
this way apparently. Pack of bloody wolves.
Can I take that? Right, northwest. Day of observation, 23rd of Burke. Back in the camp, brought in heaps of plunder, mostly armor and weapons. But this time a sealed chest, too. Towards dusk, a man delivered rations of food, drink. Excuse me. 16th day of observation, 24th of Burke. Messenger arrived at the camp before dawn, caused quite a stir. They immediately organized a group to transport the chest. After dusk, I'll try and track down where they carried it to. 17th day of observation, 25th of Burke. Didn't move the case that far away, just to the abandoned hut near the old mill. Set up a watch so I wasn't able to get closer. <laughs> 18th day of observation, every man in the camp has been drinking since yesterday afternoon. If we attack now, we obliterate them. Too bad the commander only sent one man, me, to this outpost. I'll try and sneak in tonight. Fortune smiles me, perhaps one man will be enough. Obviously wasn't. I'm kind of hmm. strange. So I'm obviously finding quests. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Faster. Hey there. Where am I going? Quests. Right. Let's go do that. We should get paid for that one. Run, Roach. where I am. Is that what turned around? I don't know, this is where they've set up. Is it?
We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Slow now. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Bracelet. Igni. Howling. Nice. Right. All right, returning to. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, 
Names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Come on. Two and a half hours, right. <laughs> um, right, yes. Have um, done this. Cleared the uh, abandoned village. And uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do, I'll do these last two here, right? And then I'll call it a night, okay? No, uh, Roach. There's Roach. Move it. Supposed to be going here. Down the coast. Follow the coastline. Cool. This way. Come on, Roach. Oh my god. <clears throat> Inventory? Yeah, that's full. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go see my friend the blacksmith. Whoa there, Roach. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. Right. Yeah, you can have that. As well, as well, as well. That's that.
got a bit of decent stuff now. Here we go. Much better, right? Oh, I know. Cool. Settle bags. Leave that for the minute. Hunter's Gauntlets. Oh, those I'd be interested in. So long. Right. Whoa! Down the coast. Slow now. Whoa. bit is oh another achievement unlocked kill three opponents in one fight using three different somethings okay give me up
somewhere around here. There was a something. And that would be a fool's nest. Oh shit. Ugly bastard. Fucking bad. Shit. <sighs> I could have done with that before the wraith, to be honest. There's the map. Cool. Oh, that was Roche. Okay. Something down there, maybe? No? Cleared everything on this side. Still got all this to go. So I'll have to get round to that on Monday. Um, gonna get back to Wosong. Yeah, let's get back to Wosong and then then I'll uh, call it a day. So fast, Roach. Uh, sorry, one last quick look at the notice board. 
server now. I'm back here. Right, so here we go. Save game. New save slot. Right. So, everyone, thank you for watching. Um, really appreciate it. I'll be back on Monday with more Witcher. Um, so, take it easy. Yay, hang on. Let me get back. Let me get back. There we go. Take it easy. Uh, have a good weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Go of my hoggard. Good night.